women in leadership. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, uh, Anupam, for this lovely introduction which you have given. I believe you have been very kind and magnanimous in your appreciation, in your words. And what a wonderful evening, celebrating women today. Please accept my heartfelt thanks that team be rise together, organizing and planning WomenCon 2022. And I just love your logo. Plenty of compliments there. It's depicting humanity. It's all about women. Synonymous to a tree, where all branches of the tree rise together and all branches of the tree fall together. So we rise together. One thing which I believe in is look back and thank God and look forward and trust him. This is how, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have been living my life. And believe me, in every tomorrow that has come, I found it better than the yesterday. I'm very, very thankful. Lots of gratitude to everybody who has come in my way. Uh, believe in gratitude in a big way. Thankful to Lord Almighty, the, human, the humility which is required. You should never leave the roots, I believe. Gratitude to my friends, to my families, and to all my fraternity. Very, very thankful to British Council and Microsoft who have made what we, what I am when it comes to education, when it comes to leading a school, a school in a village, which is catering for 65 villages, children coming from there, parents have gone abroad to greener pastures, but making them realize their dreams, which they have in their eyes. So that's what, uh, uh, what leadership in my school is all about. Talking to about, talking about my own family, we are six sisters and one brother. Why family? I'm talking about women power here. Two sisters are doctors, social worker, professor, one in business, and then our brother joined the army and I'm fifth in number. They are elder to me, four of them. Studied from St. Joseph's Convent, was the head girl. Moved to Maharani Lakshmi Bai College, had my education in Bhopal. Did my BSc there, then MSc uh, Physics, Electronics as my specialization, fourth in the university. Did B. Ed and top the university. Thanks to those teachers who made me who am I today. Again, plenty of gratitude there. Moving on, let me share, I love sports. And I'm a national level hockey player. I hold it close to my heart. Sports and sportsmanship is one thing which really make a person. My mother inspired me to take teaching as my profession. As she believed that every child has a right to education, she was deprived. She had never been to a school, no formal education, mother of six girls. And my father worked in the Indian army as a soldier under the British rule. That's how we have come out. You know, leaders are not uh, born always. Uh, sometimes they're made, but uh, sometimes, you know, your friends and everybody, their prayers, your parents' prayers, they put you in a leading role. Being a teacher is not only my profession, it is my passion too. My vision as, a prince, as the principal of Kamala Nehru Public School is to provide education for sustainable development, ESD is what it is called, and empower students with 21st century skills and all students to, be, to imbibe human values. And all nations are part of the global world. Talking about nations, our fortunes rise together 
and the fortunes fall together. And so all nations have a collective responsibility to build an inclusive, sustainable world to rise together. And ladies and gentlemen, to rise together, we need shared vision, shared values, shared beliefs, shared attitudes. We need to rise above our differences. We need to rise above our small conflict, conflicts. Remember, the world is a we. When we rise or fall, we do it together. And talking about United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals, SDG 4, quality education is the mother goal. You want leaders, you want to know about leadership role. Well, then education is the mother goal. That makes leaders. You want to beat poverty, you want to beat hunger, gender inequality, uh, fight climate change. You want, to, you want to have clean water, clean energy, sustainable cities and communities. Let's rise together and work for them. Teaching, practicing, and promoting SDGs is what I love, and we do it in our school day in and day out. I initiated an international Rise Up for SDGs project, started in January 2021, went for good uh, seven months, ended in September 2021 when we celebrated the Global Day. In this, 1,064 educators from 61 countries collaborated was all about SDGs advocacy and SDGs awareness. And that was such a satisfying moment. We didn't stop there. In this uh, rise of SDGs, we had 131 panelists from 42 countries participating in the 17 conferences on SDGs, which we had organized. And now we started rise of e-waste. It's again an international collaborative project, but runs for two months only rather three months. We started in December uh, 2021, goes up till the first week of February 2022. In this 292 educators from 37 countries have joined. You know, it's a responsibility, not limited to teaching mathematics, English, science, social science in their classes. But what is that real life and world outside? Bringing happiness on the face of somebody. So practice, preach and promote SDGs is what we believe in. So in this, 292 educators from 37 countries have joined in Rise of EUAs. We have 2,348 students who have took, uh, taken the survey uh, when it comes to uh, what is e-waste and what can be done. The action on e-waste collection drive is on. Uh, we are going uh, for recycling, we're collecting, and we have uh, collaborated with four partners who are going to do recycling in a scientific manner rather in a haphazard manner which bothers and uh, troubles our health. We have three hours zero waste, Karo Samba, Vula Deg, and Prashin who have partnered with us. And yes, uh, we are um, Microsoft partners and uh, we have won the, uh, the award, the biggest impact award in Asia Pacific region uh, for the year 2021. So let's rise together to make sure each girl can perform to her full potential. Let every girl be educated. Let this planet be 50-50 for men and women. In spite of gender inequalities, women around the globe continue to thrive and beat all odds. Their team, we rise together. Women deserves to be celebrated for their extraordinary contributions to society. And thank you, we rise up together team, for celebrating women today, together today. Thank you. God bless Arav and your team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anupam. Wow, ma'am. That was really, really fantastic. You know, a leader is someone who walks the talk. And 